Good morning all. Uh, I thought I'd just give you a bit more of a brief of, on how we're going with this um, fifth wheel trailer or gooseneck trailer. Um, in the last week or so, I've been busy working just putting on the front mast. Uh, it's an 89, 89 by 6 mil RHS and then it's got a 75, 75, 6 mil insert. Uh, we bought this uh, coupling offline. Uh, for, it's taken only four months to get. Um, so it's designed for a three inch ball. The actual, uh, it's got a recess landing on top of this plate. So the 75, 75 actually sits on top of the recess. So what I've done is I've created a landing that goes around with 89 or 90 mil and then a 50 by uh, 10 mil plate and then welded it to the entire uh, coupling. So it's right around. Um, that was all preheated uh, just to make sure that uh, it was quite okay. Uh, try and get the moisture out of the welds because we know we don't like oxygens in welds because that's what leads to metal fatigue and cracking. So that has been done really well. We've got a couple of bolts here at the moment that are just wound in. Uh, um, and then, uh, obviously, uh, she's sitting, the back end sitting up a little bit at the moment, but that's fine. Coming around, we've triangulated this, um, welded some uh, brackets on, and then we've got some uh, rope rails through here. I haven't put the inserts or the strengthening arms on those yet. That's the next job. Uh, this morning I've been working on the overhead, uh, overhead rack. Um, I've dropped this down uh, 130 mil, um, so there's going to be a rod that goes through here. So um, since we last did the video, uh, you probably noticed that we've actually finished the toolbox, or the outside casing of the toolbox. Um, so everything's on there. The folded sections for the for the toolbox are on their way. I haven't got them as yet, but they've been ordered. So they're about to come. So what's going to happen is, obviously, I've got to put some uh, strengthening sections through the top and just fill in uh, down through the centre of the chassis raft um, just so that it'll hold the floor. Um, so the doors, it gives you a bit of an idea now just how big the toolbox is. Um, so it's a huge toolbox. Um, so it's 2,800 mil, which is nine feet by four feet high by seven feet wide. So phenomenal uh, toolbox. Um, and obviously this will then sit over the top of our uh, ute. In Australia, we do have the one-ton utes and that sort of stuff in the Chevy and the and the Rams, um, but they're not as popular as the, I guess you'd call them the half-ton utes over in America. Um, so the Isuzu's, the Ford Rangers, uh, the Mazda BT-50s. So this is designed to go behind one of those small utes. Um, so everything's going really well. I'm really happy with it. We've got a bit of bracing in there, as you can see. Um, I've got some bracing just to do down through the center because I'm not happy when I hit this how much res uh, resignations down through that actual frame so we just need to make that a bit stronger um, other than that uh, she's ticking along pretty well um, this will be registered hopefully in about a month's time uh, it doesn't look like um, we've uh, we've actually done a lot, but the structure's actually done really. It's only just filling. I've got about a, I've got about a day on grinder, uh, just making sure that everything's all right in that regards. But um, rust is starting to become a little bit of a problem for me. Uh, but there is a product out there that uh, you spray it on and then hose it off, and it just takes the rust out. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but generally speaking, love to know your thoughts. Um, I, I guess I've never seen a trailer like this. It's like a toy hauler, but it's actually a tradies tour, uh, trailer. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Um, so 
Um, other than that, uh, lights and all the bling have come as well. Um, we're actually going to put um, big sign writing down the side. Um, so this trailer will be black again, I think. Um, the actual roof section is going to have solar panels on it. Um, so it will have a decent size inverter in it as well. Love to know your thoughts. Uh, if you think I've missed anything, uh, I know a lot of people are waiting to see how this winch mechanism is going to work. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get it registered before I install it. But doesn't mean that uh, we won't be working on it. So uh, stay tuned to that.